Hey guys, um, so, first things first, this is a box. Hi, uh, it's Muskie. Um, so the video you just saw me, uh, with that big box, uh, I was making a, um, unboxing of this gun, but, um, I didn't like the video of it. It just kept going on and on and on. So I'm going to redo it, but, um, without, you know, the kind of the first, you know, feel of it. But, uh, what I don't have is the, um, I don't have the manual. I, I don't have the manual for the gun right now. Uh, it's disappeared. I, I really don't know where it's gone, but I do have a clip of it. So I will, you know, include it into the video. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this one better than what I was going to upload because the other one was just off and on rambling about anything and everything. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy and let's get back to the video. Okay. Hello guys. Alright, so today I got a, I got another gun and it's the G36C as you can tell um, in the thumbnail. But um, yeah, so I've already took it out of the big box. So there's that. There was nothing in there besides that, you know, where you got it from. Pretty big box, honestly. But I don't know how much it weighs. But anyways, as you can see, I have no clue. I'm guessing this is usually uh, Umarex packaging. I mean, it's made by Elite Force, but it's got the branding of like H and K, which uh, Heckler and Cop. <laughs> no, co no compromise. Uh, anyways, just looking at the box right now. Um, we have a little bit of some nice things they put on here. But starting off is the no compromise. I really like how this looks. Now, on the shipping, when I got it, man, this box, man, it took a beating. Like, I'm surprised it's... It, it's very, uh... There was no tape to open it, so it just literally comes off. Um, which I would like to see some, like, clips or something to hold this in, because this is my first actual mid-tier gun. All the guns I've ever bought were like, you know, $100. This was $238, you know, plus any of the shipping. But, um, yeah, this was my first, this is my first mid-tier gun. Anyways, on the box, um, no compromise. It's an H&K product licensed by Umarex and Elite Force. So on this side, ugh, which I can't see. Hold on. Let me just stand behind the camera if you guys can see that. But, um. It's got a metal gearbox, which is always nice. No plastic. And then we got a, for the FPS, for 0 0.2 gram BBs, which is 20 gram BBs. It shoots around 345. I used, uh, what did I use? Ah, I used 20 gram or 25 gram BBs. Has full auto capability. It has a two round burst and a semi. And it has a four round magazine that it comes with. And this is mag. And it also comes with a metal barrel, which is always nice, too. So, you know, if you drop it, it's not going to break in half. <laughs> uh, it shows you how long it is. So, the length of this in inches is 28, inch, or 28 inches and 25 centimeters. Which, that makes no sense to me. But, we'll just say 28 inches. The weight of this gun is 5 pounds, 0.9. <laughs> and uses 6 mil BBs, which, you know, every airsoft gun uses that. And then it's got an adjustable hop up. And as you can see, you can see the gun right here. There's nothing else really important besides on the back of the box where it tells you the warnings. And on the bottom of the box, there's nothing there either. All right, so let's get this thing taken off and let's look at the gun. Uh, set that aside. So looking at the gun, it does come in a nice wrap uh, to protect it from the elements. Now, if you're going to protect the guns in the middle, so why don't you protect the magazine? That's, that's, that's just me. If you're going to protect the gun, then protect, you know, what helps to shoot the gun. And I like, I like the, I like the thick wrapping. Uh, the elements, by the way, are like water or, you know, uh, bugs. Or it's like water, basically, because it's an electric gun. So, yeah. Anyways, let's, let's take it out. Ugh. Ooh, they were not lying. This is heavier than 
any airsoft gun I've ever uh, handled. Let me put this right down right here. Um, I've already opened this before. There was an unjammer on underneath the box, which if you guys didn't know that, it was a tiny small one. Anyways, you get your 400 round magazine with these little clips on it. I don't have any mags. I don't have. I have extra magazines for this gun. This this one does. You can clip them together, but I have ones that can fit in pouches because clipping them together, in my opinion, is eh. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this box out of the way. This is everything that comes in a box. It comes with a magazine. Hold on, let me just put that aside. And that's it. That's everything in the box. Let me take this out of the wrapper. So, I forgot to also mention this. Um, this comes in the box. I gotta read, um, read, you know, what it is. So, let's take it out. This is how you replace your, uh, or how to put in a battery. So, what you want to do is first take out your pin right here at the front. Then, you want to slide it off. After sliding off, connect your battery, fold your battery to the back, and then slide it back on straight. Not try to angle it, don't try to, you want to go over the plastic. Then it shows your magazine, how to fill it. From the top, there's a little door on it, and a winder at the bottom. Shows your front sights, then your fire selector switch. Shows, oh, it's a little bright. So this is to lock back the bolt so you can change your hop up. So let's see, up is hop up, down is less hop up. Okay, let's see if there's any battery in there. Yeah, it doesn't come with a battery, which blows in my opinion. So let's put that magazine. Doesn't sound like it needs in there. Yeah. All right. Should be fine. Okay. So this is the G36C. Uh, as you see, in the C is compact. You know, it's because it has a folding stock. It's not as long. It's used for um, running gun, in my in my opinion. But um, let's see. Let's see what we can find on this gun so far. Um, as you can tell, let's start from the back work our way up to the front so as you can see it's got a really thick rubber stock or it's got a polymer stock but the back butt plate it's all rubber it's pretty thick too that's that's a thick piece of rubber so that's nice you also get a mount right here for your sling mount honestly that looks like it'll scratch and break easy if you really do drop this but uh, yeah, there's that. Then you flip it on the other side to collapse your uh, G36C. You have to click this button right here, and then it just collapses. And then what you do is there's this little hook. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little hook right here, and you just pull up on the stock, hook, and it goes in. And man, from all the views I've seen or all the videos I've seen of this, this thing does not want to let go. Oh yeah. Then what you want to do is to release your stock, you have to pull up and pull away. But in time, I do think that this little nub will go down and it will start to be easier. Also, you know, folding the stock again, you got your quick spring change. So you can, you know, if you want to get a bigger or a more compressed spring, you just pull this down and it pops out. I'm not going to do that because... I just got this, so I'm not about that life yet. But uh, yeah. Alrighty. Let me flip this back around. Okay, so we're done with the stock now and the quick, ch blah, blah, quick change spring. So let's start from the bottom and still work up to go up. All right, so you get this polymerized, blah, blah, strong polymer. This is, a, this is a strong polymer. I do not like, I wouldn't recommend dropping it, but I feel like if I did drop it, the only thing that would break is the mag. Because, I mean, this thing is solid. The only thing that creaks is the magazine. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, 
got a nice polymer grip. It fits my hand okay. It's um I can see someone with longer hands kind of uh like let's say their hands are all the way up, up here and they got a little bit hanging off or like fat fingering. I would think fat fingering would be okay. But if you got long fingers that curl around, I think you'll just <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah. I like that. You got your safe semi burst, two round burst, sorry. And you have your full auto. And I forgot to tell you, uh, I don't know if it said on the box. It has a MOSFET. Um, it has a built-in MOSFET. Which, if you don't know what a MOSFET is, is you can pull it to the front, and you can t plug it in, plug that into your computer, and you can program your two-round burst to, like, a three-round burst or four-round burst. Which, I've never done that, but it'd be nice. Now, so let's talk about the fire selector. Fire selector is very... I don't like it. It's like, it's like very, very wiggly. I think that is very bad in my opinion. That is dead, like that is breaking. Kind of, kind of bad. Like, I feel like this will break if I, uh, if I push it too far, the full auto. But, uh, switching between it. Oh yeah, that's, that's a little different. Okay, you have to really be precise with this. Because I went to go to go into uh, semi. Yeah, mine semi? Yeah, okay. That is a little bit not what I like. Then you get your iron sights. Um, I've been told iron sights like this are actually very well. You get one with a hole in it. And you get your other optic down here. Uh, they're not painted, which I would love to see, but I guess not. You get a flat one instead of a circle one, or a squared one, I would say. And you just line those up. Alright. So we're done talking about the sights. Ugh. Alrighty. Since we're up here, we'll just keep talking about the top. So, plenty of rail space. I would like to see you could take this off. Which I think you can, yeah. You can take these screws off. There's some screws on this side. Take that off if you really want to. It's up to you. But um, also see if we could take off the sights. So I could slide on like a light. I like my lights mounted on the top. I just I feel comfortable up, up, up there. But yeah, there's that. Then we're working our way down to the middle of the gun. Is you got your charging slide. When you rack that back. You get your pop up, and then I don't know what you call this pop up, but it's this it's this hop up right here, and I, I'm guessing because I, I didn't get a manual, so I, I literally did not get a manual. <laughs> so um, I'm guessing up is you know your hop, and down is not your hop. And I will say this pop up right here is very stiff. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm pretty sure you could do this with gloves. I really do. But, um, yeah, so there's that. And how I locked that back, I saw a video on this. Uh, there's this little bitty thing right here underneath the trigger. You press that. or you, So when you pull this back, you press it. I just released it, my idiot self. Ugh. You press it. I keep touching the slide. Ah, so you press it. Oh my, so you press it. Yeah, so you press it. And to release it, you just push back the charging pin and it slides forward. So yeah, there's that. And then we come back to our mag release right by the trigger. It's a, kind of like a AK style if you ever shoot AKs. You have to push it forward and it's like a little paddle. Just press this forward comes out now talking about the magazine it's very plasticky wiggles the four and rounds that's not bad I used to have a uh, Lancer tactical mk18 l2 uh, something but that was my first actual uh, electric uh, rifle 
But anyways, yeah, that's kind of what, that only held uh, 350. This one holds 400, so it's 50 more. But yeah, um, how to put it in. It's kind of just like an AK, you have to angle it in. If I can show you on the side, I'll just angle that in. Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, let me show you. There we go. See? And let's see. You get your engravings. I'm glad they didn't put this in white, I swear. I would hate that, but there's a warning right there, and then on the other side, you get your ambidextrous uh, fire selector, so it's on both sides, and then you get your H&K G36C caliber 6mm BBs, and then a serial number, and another warning right there. And yeah, that takes care of everything in the middle section of it. Oh, and to say another thing, is this gun is electric blowback. So every time you pull the trigger, this uh, little slide right up here will slide back and forth, back and forth, which is really cool and neat. Ah, I just shook the tripod. But, um, yes. And everything else, uh, let me tell you what's metal so far. So this pin is metal, this is metal, this is metal, this is metal, this is metal, this. And these rails at the front are all metal. Yeah, this orange flash hire, I uh, never, I never take off the flash hire because where I live is uh, very dangerous because it's it's a high populated area where everyone walks around your neighborhood. But um, I can shoot this in my backyard because it is my property. But um, yeah, so to take it out, which I've seen in videos, is there's this pin right here. You can see that pin. You push that in. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can get it on my first try. Oh, shoot. Whoo, that, that really hurt. <laughs> Those are some tough pins. Let's see if I can. <clears throat> Holy shoot, man. This is hard to get out. Hold on. I think I'm going to need a tool. Yeah, I can't really find a tool. So we're just going to use this Allen wrench. Pop that sucker out. Ah, there we go. Okay, well that was difficult to get this son of a gun out. Oh, it just came apart. <laughs> it literally just came apart. So, what I'm seeing here is this just slides on. There's like little hooks at the bottom. It's kind of where it guides you in. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, yeah, it just guides in. So you just slide that off, I'm pretty sure. Alrighty, so we got the front now. You got your small Tamiya, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, Tamiya cord. Um, doesn't look like you get much space, honestly. But that's not a bad thing. Anyways, let's see if I can fit like batteries in there. Is it make sure it's in safe? All right, so we get our, this is a 9.6 volt battery. Let's see if I can get that in there. See if I can connect it first, there we go. So I've had issues with an AK before like this, where the dust cover, you kind of had to slide in on. It was a Lancer Tactical as well. And what I figured was you just hold it with your thumb or anything and you just slide on your parts. Come on, fit. Oh, it's not wanting to fit. Just gotta work it in there. Now let's set this in there. How about that? No, we can't set it in there. Okay. Oh, this thing's an utter stay there. That sh that should do it. I'm holding the battery right now. Oh, 
on, we're getting closer. But not as close as I would like. Honestly, you could just duct tape this. But uh, I'm not like that. I, I like to have my guns showing. Okay, that should do it. That looks that looks pretty skinny right there, boys. That looks very skinny. Alright. See if I can get this to slide on. Now this is the battery they recommend. So hopefully this will go on without a problem. Can I tuck these wires in? Please. Sorry. See what's the dealio with this. I can tuck these, nice. Boom. That should work right there. And slide that right on. Oh, come on, fit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, boom. All right, we got our nine volt battery in there. Took us a second. Let's see, let's see. Now this pin needs to be aligned up, which that could be a problem. So, let's see if I can. It's like it doesn't want to get lined up. It really doesn't. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's not, that's not going in. <laughs> right, let's see the other side, maybe. Oh, that went in a little tiny bit. Whew. Maybe I should take this one off real quick. There we go, that, that uh, it just fixed itself. <laughs> I'm not even lying, it just fixed itself. And then it should just wiggle itself in. I wonder, I'm putting dents in my, uh, my little table. Can I use this tool? wonder why it doesn't want to go in. I wonder what if I put the other way. The other way will work. Oh, yeah, yeah, it went just go the other way. And bada bing, bada boom. Alrighty. Alright. That's pretty cool. So we got the battery in there. Which is a hassle. But yeah. Battery's in. And last thing to talk about is you get three of these metal rail segments. Only flash hotter. And they're, what do you call these? Two. Shoot. I already forgot. I don't know. It's where you put your. Uh... My brain right now has kind of just stopped. Sling mount. There we go. Your two sling mounts. Anyways, let's go outside and let's go shoot this. All right, let's go outside. Doo -doo 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 -doo.
That was three shots. How's that? It's okay. Good. Can I see? Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, watching my unboxing and shooting test of the G36C Elite version from Umarex or Elite Force. Uh, so far, I love the gun to death. Thank you, guys. It's been musky. And bye.